Hello, mate. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing very well today. It's a lovely day, isn't it? Yeah, nice. I'm working. Oh dear. Do you like your job, though? Pardon? Do you love your job? Uh, the job helps me do things I love. Ah, one of them. And what yeah. is your, what is your passion then? Uh, I'm a writer and performer. Amazing. What was one of the most magical, exciting, exhilarating performances you gave? This one, you hired me, didn't you? I like the yeah, answer. I'm performing now. No, Not... um, I don't, um, oh, I, don't, I like anything where people laugh at it. It gets, that gets me going, yeah. Good man. What's on the little uh, question? Uh, the first one is describe a time someone helped you. Uh, and I, have, I feel like I've gone a bit blank, but I think I'm going to... I think I just have, I've been thinking about my dad today, I don't know why, just a, a lot of times. So I think I'm just going to do a sort of amalgamation of him as a healthy person. He's just generally helpful. So he, uh, yeah, he's always just sort of very, uh, very willing to teach and help and let you learn yourself. So I guess that's been helpful and massive. I mean, this is a times one helpful, but I'm going to use the timers for my whole life. Is that all right? <laughs> that's fine. And then the other one? Let's stick on that for a sec. Your dad, how was it growing up? Was he always that good sort of mentor, that good teacher? Yeah, he's just good. He just sort of, uh, sort of comes in, uh, it, you know, sees what the problem is and then sort of points you quite, quite loosely and then you'll keep going and then get stuck again and he'll come back and go, oh yeah, now try that and then cuts it. So he sort of lets you learn rather Sounds like the perfect dad. I'd say he was actually, yeah. Does he have a dark side? Um, that's a good question. Well, I wouldn't say dark. Maybe he's a... Uh, no, he doesn't have... A tinge of a shadow? Maybe... No, not even that, no. I'd say maybe that would be his... Uh, not. I'd say he'd maybe like to have more of a dark side or be a bit more wild. He doesn't... Maybe that's where he, where he feels... I don't know if he feels that. But maybe I, I, I'd say he could let loose more maybe at times. That's not dark, is it? That's What's your dark side? What's my dark side? Good question. Uh, oh, I think I like... Uh, how, how do you trip yourself up? How do I trip myself up? Same question. I, uh, I get very uh, panicky about people's response to me, maybe. And then... Uh, and then in, I can get a bit frantic and in a mad attempt to try and impress people, try and seek their approval. I can end up being a bit obnoxious and just sort of go on and on and on and on and on and try to make them laugh when I rather than listen. At least I can edit and cut you. Yeah, exactly. I mean, what's your second question? Let's go move on to that. This is a fun one, and I'm glad there's a bit of swearing. Uh, describe a time when someone was a real cunt. Um, when someone was a real cunt. Well, I mean, I could be clever and link back to what I've just talked about. I've been a cunt to myself at times. But, no, some people have been pretty annoying. I don't like being micromanaged anywhere. You know, I like when people just sort of trust that I'll know and then uh, install the confidence in me to ask if I don't know. I don't like people just telling me, oh, things that, you know, if I need help, I'd help. Uh, <laughs> And uh, I once got left, I, I fell asleep on like a drunken night. We went on a big sort of like eat a, like sunrise walk. I had a snooze about six or seven in the morning. And then the person I was with who knew everyone and I didn't, they just left me there snoozing. And I woke up like, oh, I'm in the middle of nature and I don't know where everyone is. I did find them very quickly, but best. What's that sitting next to you on the bench? My shadow or? No, that little, that little, uh, yeah, that little red thing. The little red thing? What is it? it this is, uh, well, it's a box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Even better question. Uh, we'll have a look. Ah, it's like a, it's like a trophy. A trophy for what? Yeah, well, it's a very old one. Oh, it's not yours then? No, I didn't win it. Does it say anything on it? Yeah. It says, uh, Miss K. Sagir, 
Okay. Uh, and it's a ballroom dancing second place prize. Fantastic. Last last little question. Yeah. What's on the paper? What's on the paper? Let me have a look. Uh, on the paper. Give me your honest answer. Well, it's a letter uh, I've written yeah. to myself when I was eight years old. Wow, is there a key line in that letter? Yeah, uh, the key line is near the bottom, the first line of the last paragraph. Uh, yeah, just keep doing it, yeah, it'll be alright, yeah. I was quite a repetitive writer when I was eight. <laughs> nice one, man. Thank you very much, bro. Take it easy. You too. Hello. Hey. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you. How are you? Very good. I like your coat. Thank you. And a black heart. I know. Black heart. I've had it for uh, 17 years. Any sort of history and meaning behind it? It's no. a gift from my mom. That's good enough. First day gift, yeah. And uh, any nice things happen today? Um, the good weather. <clears throat> Work has been uh, tough on me today, but, uh, but the good weather has uh, kept the smile going. So that's the point. What was tough about work? Hmm? What was tough about work? I manage other people's lives. Oh. So I'm a music uh, artist manager. And, um, egos, managing egos? <laughs> I don't want to be rude, but yeah, basically. You can be as rude as you like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, managing people's um, egos and um, people that find it difficult to make a decision when a decision needs to be made. And what's your first question? So, my first question is, if you want to live before you die, what do you need to achieve? And I think if you want to live before you die, you need to stop living the system and living yourself. So, take some time out to identify who you are, what you stand for, and follow how you want to do live your life. Uh, not necessarily be another one in the system that follows how um, how we are meant to live, how we are meant to pay rent, and how we are meant to show up to a job, and how we are meant to find love, to be happy. And I think you should just try and look into yourself, and whatever makes you happy, that's the way of making you feel like you live your own life without other people. Living it for you. Were you living before a life where you felt you weren't living that and you were a bit trapped? Are you on the other side now? Uh, yeah, for sure. So I think the moment I started my own company was the moment I started living. At least I started living with, under my own rules and not other people's rules. And that's not been an easy journey, but it's made me happier than, than ever before. Thank you. And the next question? And the next one, I'm not sure what profoundly love means though, I'm a foreigner. Deeply love. Deeply love. What is it you most deeply and profoundly love? Uh, happiness and love. I love giving compliments to people, I love making other people happy. I love my family because they created me. But I also love the people around me because they, they're my life, they're my everyday. Um, but I love loving and I love being happy. Thank you for sharing with me today. Thank you, my dear. Have thank a lovely you. evening. You too. And thank you for doing this. Hello, mate. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm very good. What's uh, anything nice happened today? Um, yeah, there's a couple of couple of things. I was just walking around looking at London for the first time, so that's quite nice. Um, I have no idea where I am, so that's also very nice. <laughs> um, so where are you from? Germany. Which like, part? Uh, the very southwest, Freiburg, I don't know where they are. Wonderful, cool. So this is your first time in London? Yes. Excellent. Welcome. Sorry? Welcome. Thank you. Excellent. What's your first question? Um, describe something hard that happened in your life. And yeah, I think the hardest thing that ever happened to me is when Alfred's dog died. She was there since I was four. And we were on a vacation with the family in Thailand and it was all 
beautiful, nice beach with palm trees and lots of different, just so many different impressions and such a beautiful country. And then suddenly there came a phone call from home that she had been ran over by a train. And that was, yeah, time stopped and there was, yeah, there was just nothing there left. Just pure sadness and not understanding. Yeah, I think that was one of the, if not the hardest experience in my life. So how old was the dog? Uh, she was eight at the time. Good life. Yeah, All yeah, right. it was she was she was a little sick, but she, it was just right at, right in the middle of that yeah. perfect vacation, and then nobody expected it. It just came out of nothing. Wow. What's your second question? Um, who is your hero? Who are your heroes? Well, my heroes. I don't. I wouldn't say I have a certain hero, but it's my heroes are people who fought for other people or for the more just world and just risk their life, lives and just put any effort of their life into that goal to make a better world. And these people who are still doing that, this and who did this during the history of the world, yeah, I guess those are my heroes. And last question, what's the biggest hope for your life? The biggest hope? That there's that I can experience, or that, there, that the world is going to change to a better place in my lifetime. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you.